this essay is a good length. I like the way you've organised your ideas around paragraphs. That's really nice. However, it goes off topic dramatically in the second half, so I guess she's going to get quite a low score here. Do you know what causes these mistakes to occur? It's time pressure, inadequate preparation, or that kind of thing? No, it's poor planning. Now, you know the topic for the lesson today, right? That's right, stay tuned to learn how to plan an academic essay. Hi, I'm Thomas, one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. Today's lesson will focus on the steps to help you master the writing task in the IELTS exam without making any mistakes like the girl in our example earlier. Conducting writing is similar to drawing a picture. We need to plan the layout before starting off with our main work. If we skip this step, we can't guarantee the accuracy and beauty of the picture. So today, I'll try to guide you step by step in making an outline in a time efficient manner. All right, let's get started. Step one, you should read the writing prompt carefully. Under time pressure, many students just read the topic quickly and they start writing straight away afterwards. So many of them fail to understand the requirements and they inevitably lose marks. Now, let's analyse the following question for IELTS writing task two. In the developed world, average life expectancy is increasing. What problems will this cause for individuals and society? Suggest some measures that could be taken to reduce the impact of ageing populations. Well, in this sentence, if you don't read it carefully, you could mistakenly comprehend it as a cause-solution type of writing essay, in which they've asked about the causes of the increase to average life expectancy and solutions for that. However, this assignment is requiring you to identify the problems of ageing and how to tackle them to minimise their impact on society. Step two, generate targeted questions. After you've identified the correct thing to discuss in your essay, you should come up with two targeted questions that will keep you on track in your writing. With the given questions, you can ask yourself, what problems will an ageing situation cause for society? And how to tackle this problem? Having finished this important section, you can move to the next step. Step three, outline the structure of your writing. Now, normally a piece of IELTS writing will include three main parts, the introduction, the body paragraphs, and the conclusion. When you plan for your essay, you should decide how many body paragraphs you'd like to include in it. It's advisable to have at least two or three paragraphs. One is for problems, and the two others are used to discuss solutions. And now we're going to go to the fourth step, which will help you plan in a detailed way. Step four, answer those targeted questions. To get your essay consistent, you should focus on answering some questions that the task has asked you to. Now let's see again those two targeted questions. What problems will an ageing population cause to society? And how to tackle this problem? Now we'll have a look at some answers to these questions. Well, the answer to the first question could be the budgets for social welfare increase considerably. Increase the demand for property due to high density of people. To decrease the large amount of young people making up the workforce in factories. Some solutions could be to extend the retirement age. The government proposes a policy to reward families that have lots of children, which will increase the ratio of young people. Now we've got a general frame for this essay, so the task is now to add a few more supporting ideas to back up our arguments. Let's look at the last point. Step 5. Follow the MEE model, which is main point, explain or examples. Now I'll help you deal with detailed ideas for each question. If you can follow them, I would ensure that your writing will be much better than an unplanned essay. What problems will the ageing population cause for society? The budgets for social welfare will increase considerably. More old people means that more budget should be spent on things like pensions, retirement and welfare. 
Examples here could be to increase the amount of free bus passes for pensioners or to otherwise incentivise old people participating in society. Our main point is that this will increase the demand for property due to a higher density of people. And this would mean property value can double or even triple because of high demand. Old people have the habit of accumulating assets the longer they live, such as land for their offspring, and this can lead to a scarcity of land. For the solution part here, you could apply this model to develop the two ideas, and any feedback that you've got, please share in the comments below. And that's it. I hope you found these five steps helpful in preparing an academic exam for your IELTS test. If you'd like to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, please click on the link below. These courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide you with a personalised learning outcome. Remember to like and share and hit that subscribe button to get notifications of our latest videos. Once again, I've been Thomas. Thanks for joining us today. Stay safe, everyone.